so here we are demonstrating IoT greenhouse monitoring and controlling system so in this project we are going to monitor the temperature sensor or temperature and humidity from this DHT11 sensor and also we are going to monitor the moisture level with the help of this moisture sensor and light intensity level with the help of this LDR sensors so total four parameters from these three sensors will be monitored continuously by our UNO board Arduino UNO and that will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen so this is the monitoring section and also we are going to sending the same sensors parameter through the ESP8266 module to your phone through the Wi-Fi network and this is the monitoring section coming to the controlling whenever the moisture level is low then automatically Arduino you know, will switch on this motor with help of this electromagnetic relay and next is based on the light intensity on this LDR sensor we are going to on this bulb with the help of another uh, electromagnetic relay and if the temperature is high above 50 degree centigrade then for cooling purpose we are going to switching on this fan the DC motor and it will be this will be controlled by the transistor board so here the total inputs DHT11 LDR moisture sensor so the moisture sensor and LDR interface at A0 A1 pin and DHT11 at 10th pin and these two relays are interfaced at 11 and 12 and this fan is at the 13th pin and LCD pin number 2 to pin number 7 and ESP8266 module Wi-Fi communication at 0 and 1 and this is the breadboard so just in order to distributing the 5 volts power supply throughout this input and output modules we have used this breadboard so just we are providing the uh, 230 volts inputs from this power socket so this is the main input to the whole kit and it will take this regulator power supply board will take 230 volts inputs and it will provide us the constant 5 volts regulator power supply from this 2 pin wire and we are going to connect at that here and throughout the other modules for example to the relay moisture sensor wi-fi module and the ldr and the dc motor and dst double one and lcd so all are need 5 volts power supply so in order distributing that below this pcb we have the track is connected parallelly so that, so that we can distribute in the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules and here input is 230 volts so parallelly we are connecting the input to the motor and to the bulb through the electromagnetic relays so before switching on these kits we need to do some initial steps so now go to settings of your hotspot settings in your phone and change the hotspot SSID name to project 4949 without any space and without any capital letter and password should be 12345689 and after enabling the hotspots install the application of juice SSH from play store right after installing application as I enable the hotspot now Right, so I know, I, uh, and after that switch on the power supply to the cage then there will be a welcome message on the LCD screen initially and after booting was successfully done so the device will be connected to our phone right you can see that the ESP is came to the picture in your phone in connected devices note on the IP address of this one so some mobile phones doesn't show this IP address for that we need to install the network analyzer application and in that uh, open the application and do scan then we can get the ESP8266 with same name and we'll get the IP address over there. So note on this IP address 192.168.43.148 and now go to the juice application. So in this initially it looks like this and in that go to manage connections add plus and we need to do three changes one is type tele, uh, select the type of telnet and IP address is 192 dot which we got from the uh, settings 43 dots I guess 148 right 148 148 is the second change and third is port number 8080 so first is type telnet address and port number right now click on ok right so now we can see the the data is continuously streaming from our kit so the moisture level is 100% as we place that in a water and our lighting level is high because it has some lighting tube lighting on the LDR sensor and remaining moisture temperature and humidity so total four parameters we are getting here so for example if I right now there will be light off also here and now we can see that the motor got switched on 
and we can get the same data here moisture level is low that's why the motor got switched off and when it's back to the water level high then there will be light indication here and after getting the light indication now the motor will be switched off we can see the relay also and now it is moisture level is high and coming to the lighting just cover the LDR sensor with any black object once the loop is completed then the light got switched on through the electromagnetic relay we can see the lighting level is low that's why we switched on the bulb again here lighting level is high so if you have the, any hot air blower just by blowing the air on this uh, humidity sensor then the temperature will be increases whenever it will be crosses a threshold value of 50 degrees centigrade then automatically this fan will be getting switched on watch right.